Hi, my beautiful people. I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. I've been out for so long and I haven't recorded. I've been super busy. I'm so sorry. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to do another look using my Lorac Pro Palette. So let's get started. Of course, prime your eyelids with your favorite primer. And right here, I'm starting with my first color, which is this nice purple. And just go ahead and blend that very, very well with your fluffy brush. I try to do this look very easy for you guys. Well, for me too, because I wanted to do a fast look, because I wanted to record a video for you guys. So, yes, keep on watching. So I don't even know what to say. I hate that I don't have music in the background. I just haven't figured out how to put it without having copyright. So anyways, I grabbed this bronzed color and went ahead and put it on my outer corner like so. And just used a medium fluffy brush. I got this one from crownbrush.com. And I love it because it's a perfect size for the crease. It's not too big, not too little, it's just perfect. When I put another color with a, like the outer corner, just a little bit, I like to use a smaller brush than that. But for this part of the eyes, this brush is perfect. So just go to crownbrush.com. And I think this is the Italian Badger, I'm not sure, but it's just called a blending brush. Anyways, for my eyelid color, I went ahead and used this champagne color. I love this color because it's just, I feel like it's the perfect color for this combination with these browns and purples. And this just adds like a really nice highlight for the inside of my eyes. Not the inside of my eyes, but like in the middle of the eyelid. Anyways, so I used this highlight color for my brow bone. Any whitish color will work just make sure it's almost like two to three colors lighter than your skin tone and it will look nice and of course every time you feel like the color is coming off just go ahead and keep blending and after you put all your colors on there go ahead and grab your q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and just clean those edges I feel like the Q-tip is an easier method than using the tape. Anyways, I went ahead and grabbed this blue eyeliner just so I can add a little bit of color to my eye look. And I just went ahead and put it on my lower lash line. Since this is an eyeliner and not an eyeshadow, I decided to grab a blue eyeshadow and put it on top of that just so it can stay longer and it won't move around. And for my top liner, I s oh my gosh, look what happened here. Get ready, ready. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I heard it like a, mm, but I took it like a man and just. I like nothing happened. So right here I'm just putting my champagne color on my inner corner of my eyes. And right there I just grabbed the black eyeliner and put it on my waterline. I skipped the liquid liner and decided to put my pencil liner for my cat eye. Just make sure this you grab an eyeliner that's very buttery and soft and won't tug on your eye. Because when it tugs, it just doesn't come out well. If it's easier for you to stretch out your eyelid, so it can make it easier to apply. And for here, the next step, I use these beautiful MAC eyelashes. I will list them down below because I forgot to show you guys. I tried to record it, but I was just totally off the camera and I didn't even grab it when I was putting my lashes on. So that's why you guys don't see it. But here they are. A quick look, I'm sorry. And for my lipstick, I decided to use this Wicked Lippy from NYX. It's a really intense purple. 
and I haven't used it that's why I decided to put it for this look I just thought it was perfect because my eyes are not that crazy so I just went ahead and put this crazy color hope you guys don't mind and when I like my favorite lipsticks to use is are the matte or long lasting colors but since this one isn't I I usually just blot my lips and clean the inner sides of my lips like where it can get on your teeth you know what I mean I hate putting my finger in my mouth and cleaning the excess it's just gross to me but I had to do it because it's more embarrassing to have purple lipstick on your teeth right yes alrighty so we're done here's the final look I'm just fluffing my hair a little bit because this is just my everyday hairstyle just wash it air dry it and voila and here's a little close-up of my eye look here you can see the eyelashes how they look really pretty I love these oh my gosh eyelash malfunction I'm sorry coming out a little bit oh my god look Oh well. Bye guys. Love you.